across the world. Since last year, this young man has used that spotlight to empower young and LGBTQ people everywhere. He's also a 2014 Point Foundation Scholar and the, oh, he's smart. And the recipient of the RIM, RIM Freeman Scholarship for having demonstrated extraordinary leadership in the LGBTQ community. Please put your hands together for Jacob Rudolph! So one year ago today, I spoke at the 2013 Pride Rally, and then in my first ever Pride Parade, my first ever Pride Parade, the best day of my life, I got to march with flag. And then when I went to the University of Miami, it's all about the you. Thank you. Uh, I, I knew for certain that I wanted to be a youth advocate. So one of the most powerful things that I've realized in my advocacy work in just over a year is how powerful young people are. Since we've been little, our elders have told us what we need to do, how we need to do it. But when elders come face to face with passionate young people, I found that they tend to listen. Currently, there is a worrying number of old, white, straight men leading our government. To say that we are tired of governors vetoing laws that would protect transgender people is an understatement. Who's tired of that? Who's tired of Congress blocking bills that will give LGBT employees protection in the workplace? Who? I am tired of that. Who else is tired of that? Come on! Because we're tired of legislative bodies like the New York Senate killing bills similar to the ones that passed in New Jersey that would ban gay conversion therapy on minors. It's ridiculous. I can't even... So, what I'm about to say next defines everything that I stand for. I am a millennial, and I'm going to change the world. The millennial generation has more power than any other generation before it. We're a people of technology, and despite the fact that many of us are buried in our smartphones, seemingly unaware of the world around us, no other group of people, nobody will be as connected as we are and in tune with current events. 
to leverage the power of social media like the LGBT community has done such a fantastic job of over the past decade is to leverage our say in the future. Millennials look at society, globally and nationally, as a big old mess that we really need to fix. Only now we're realizing that we're the ones who are going to have to do it. Political wars, actual war, technology, sustainability, happiness, quality of life, discrimination, and most importantly, climate change. All of these concerns are going to fall on us. Everybody here today is going to have to deal with these issues at some point. And like it was said in the beginning, although there's so much to be done to protect transgender rights and empower LGBT youth and end discrimination on a global level, today we celebrate our victories. It seems like every other week, a new state wins marriage equality, and each new year breeds new advocates for justice. Just last month, Point Foundation, the largest scholarship fund for LGBT students, selected the most promising LGBT young people in our nation to receive their scholarships, and I am so unbelievably honored to say that I was selected as a Point Scholar. It is my generation that is going to put the nail in the coffin that is marriage discrimination. My generation will bring a fully inclusive Employment Non-Discrimination Act to all classes of workers. My generation will encourage European and African and Asian and South American countries to educate people on matters of sexual orientation and gender identity. Who's here, who here is tired of hearing about Uganda and all of the horrible things that are happening there? We have the power to fix it and we will one day. I would not be standing here before you had the generations before mine not toiled and sacrificed their safety to be openly proud of who they are. But mark my words that I will live, and we will live, to see the year that we achieve full equality. And that year, that everybody's equal, will be the best damn pride parade this world has ever seen. We are lesbian. We are bisexual. We are gay. We are queer. We are trans. We are American. And we are one voice. Together we will win, and together we will change the world. Thank you all so much.